Well, hey folks, welcome back to another episode of the Brand Builder Show. And today's episode is, I always say it, but it's gonna be another great episode. This is a show where we like to bring you latest trending strategies and today is gonna be no different. We've got John Tilly on the show with us today. John, welcome to the show. What's up, Ben? Good to be here, man. Good to have you. It's not your first time on. You've been on uh, on the show before uh, a, a while back, um, but yeah. it's, it's great to have you back to talk about a uh, a trending topic. And uh, we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. Feels like the whole world is talking about it right now. So uh, so we're going to join in with them. Uh, but you've got some exciting developments happening on your end, which we're going to get into. Um, for the people that maybe haven't heard the episode before, not heard much about you, tell us who you are, where you're from, give us the elevator pitch of your life, and uh, and we'll get started. Uh, you know, Ben, your your beanie game has upped its game since we last met, so it's good. <laughs> I like it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's uh, for those who don't know me, I'm I'm John Tilly, um, originally uh, from South Africa. I uh, had a had a long career in advertising, uh, kind of as a strategic account exec, um, and uh, found my way with that to London. So I lived in London and worked with some big agencies there, and then uh, found my way all the way over to Los Angeles, uh, where I, where I continued in that path, but. Um, this was in 2006 when I was in Los Angeles, but but after that I I, um, I launched a few private label brands in 2015, uh, as a lot of us did uh, in that, <laughs> that time, and uh, and through that process, um, you know, really saw the opportunity to to uh, start a, a software company around data intelligence for private label Amazon uh, sellers specifically. So I launched that in 2016 called Zonguru. So I'm the the co-founder and and uh, CEO of Zonguru, and really we're an, an operational tool set for brands that sell on Amazon. Um, so, you know, this is specific to um, private label sellers who have their own brands, but but also now in today's age, uh, agencies and, and bigger enterprise brands that are really looking for scalability uh, on on uh, on Amazon. Uh, so we have about 17 or I think it's 18 different tools now um, at kind of each area of, of the mm. operational part of your Amazon yeah. business. And we, we help you scale through automation in uh, North America, Europe, uh, Australia and India on mm. the marketplaces we connected with. So, yeah. uh, yeah, there was a lot. There was a long elevator pitch, but yeah, that's, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. And we're going to talk about one of those tools that's had some some updates, uh, specifically around artificial artificial intelligence. Uh, in a moment, if anybody wants to hear more about the whole you know Zongu journey and stuff, we we did d- dig into that a bit more in our previous episode. So we'll leave that um, link below in the description for people to check out. Um, but before we do dive into the topic AI, um, ChatGPT, writing listings, the future of robots taking over the world. Um, we do just want to do our traditional um, I say traditional we're about four episodes into doing it but the uh, the favorite five section just asking you what your favorites are on uh, on five key topics that a lot of our listeners will be interested in uh, number one give us some inspiration on your favorite e-commerce brand I don't know should I relate it to Valentine's Day because today's Valentine's Day I'm sharing this, yeah. this moment with you but uh, no no I think uh interesting there um th- there's many but i think the, the the one of late especially in the u.s is, is probably liquid death um mm. I, don't, I don't know if you if you know oh, that yeah. brand well but um you know it's it's essentially a, a water uh, in, a, in a can um mm. but it started as an e-commerce brand and and uh you know they branded it liquid death and and uh, you know i was looking at it the other day and i was like why did they call it liquid death and and the story behind it is really uh you know it was a netflix director who started this brand and he had been going to a lot of concerts and you know all the the rockers had their, their their red bulls and everything on stage but there was never um they actually preferred water but there was never mm. really anything that, that kind of was you know within that genre for mm. for rock stars and 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 athletes etc where you know water is typically like this nice beautiful bottle and they wanted like mm. a, a, a a rock bottle you know and uh yeah. and liquid death is really you know that that is water you know water water gives you life but you know in it can also be extreme, right? Whether, mm. whether you're doing extreme sports or something, uh, it can get pretty dangerous. So that was a cool name and they, they launched it through a, a video online and, and yeah. um, it got traction and, and, and is a massive e-commerce brand that is now sold in retail, mm. but, but it started on, on, on e-commerce and I, don't know, I think it's worth 500 million at the moment and they did 45 Crazy. million in revenue last year just with rebranding water. So it's like, a, why I like it is it's just such a cool concept where mm. you know brand and differentiation is truly what makes something scalable yeah. right and, yeah, and we've yeah. got to really pay attention to that because if you can get that right it's you know the world's your oyster 
Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, a masterclass in branding, Liquid Death. They are, yes. you know, half a billion dollars company, uh, you know, selling water. Crazy. <laughs> um, but no, great answer. Um, okay, next one up. Is your favorite software or tool that helps you run your business or your life? Oh, I, I'd probably say... I'd probably say Notion, Notion is, is mm. from a business perspective, uh, one that we use a lot. Um, you know, there's different different softwares out there. We use Notion. Uh, it's really like an internal Wikipedia mm. that allows us to develop SOPs mm. that are accessed by the whole organization. If, if you're truly trying to scale, um, you know, having a good SOP for SOPs um, yeah, and, yeah. And, a, and a centric place for, for capturing that is, is critical, whether you're building a software company or even, you know, your own Amazon e-commerce brand or e-commerce mm-hmm. brand that you want to sell, sell one day. If you have SOPs down, yeah, it's, it's going to change your, your life for sure. So yeah, I would say notion. Yeah. Nice man. Yeah. We're just d- diving deep into it now. Um, I've heard loads of people say it recently and I'm trying to consolidate a bunch of different tools into it, uh, including like project management, which is a bit of a, a task in itself, but, uh, but no, I'm loving it so far. It's a crazy powerful tool. So definitely yeah, one, one, one of the guys on our team uh i think he he did an exercise a, a year ago of actually running running his life through a notion document so he mm. like he sop'd out his whole kind of life <laughs> in in the in, in notion i was like okay that's extreme but uh anyway you know it's, yeah, it's yeah. one way to learn how to use that tool yeah, yeah. Sure. one thing one thing removing yourself from your business but you don't want to remove yourself from your life but <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> good stuff okay doke. um next up favorite organic marketing channel um hmm. yeah i would i would probably say uh my favorite that, that we're going with right now is is, is uh kind of blog content i would mm-hmm. say is, is organic you know um it's an interesting space and even with ai right now it's pretty interesting um you know seeing how how people can get it wrong um but that's to work really well for us yeah yeah definitely and what about a paid marketing channel um i mean ours is is 100 uh it, it's going to be google ads um you know that's okay. that's that's what drives the most for us and it's very specific and um it works really well for us so yeah, nice. uh, paid i would say that that front we, we're playing a lot with youtube right now but um oh. the biggest driver is still good old google yeah yeah nice good and then final one your favorite business book oh um i have to go with traction traction is uh, you yeah, know yeah. We, we still involve that in in our day to day um mm-hmm. at at work and setting slingshots and, and goals and and uh you know scaling and getting traction momentum and breaking it down to specific daily goals um mm-hmm. and rolling that up into monthly and obviously annual and you know mm-hmm. the five year vision is is critical right and keeping mm-hmm. the team aligned so yeah. traction is great to be on Reddit. go for it is traction the original about eos or is that the yes uh, yeah. SEO? cool yeah, yeah definitely yeah recommended read for yeah any entrepreneur uh, eos is the o- entrepreneurial operating system i think and they give you like a structure of how to run a company yeah it's really good very good good okay doke. all right well let's uh thank you for those it's good i just love those i think it's insightful for um people to hear you know your thoughts on that and it always gives uh recommendations for people to go away and and research some more more stuff so thank you for humoring me on that one um let's talk about ai then um you know what in the world is going on everyone's talking about um ai i, I did an episode a couple of weeks ago with someone uh, about um you know ai and, and everything that's going on and uh, it just continues to be at the top of everyone's mind i thought it might die down but you know google the other day just released their you know bard it's like the hair competitor to supposed competitor to chat gbt there's, there's so much um you know changing and people not really knowing at the end of the day where this is all going to land but just before we get into sort of specifics on amazon what's your take on all of this yeah so talk about an epic fail with Bard. I, mean, I don't know if you mm. followed the story there, but they did yeah, their yeah. launch and, and got it completely mm. wrong. And, <laughs> yeah. and I think their share price dropped like dramatically on Alphabet, yeah, right? So, think it, yeah, um, I think it like wiped 100 billion off their value or something. Yeah, like, something insane. ridiculous off of, of Alphabet. So yeah, they, they got an epic fail um, of 2023. Uh, yeah, look, you know, AI is not, not anything new. I mean, since the, the start of the internet, that's really what drives it. Half, half of our intelligence in in Zonguru is all, you know, AI and, and, and you know, building an intelligence, um, you know, kind of bot that, that, that does tasks for you. So there's nothing new about that. But I think where the changes come, starting with ChatGPT, is really about putting in, in a process that brings 
AI into our daily lives, right? And, and I think this is, this is a moment, right? That you look back on the history and you're like, okay, cool. There's the dot com era. You know, there was, there was, um, you know, even things like Uber, which, which, mm-hmm. you know, in our everyday consumer lives, uh, you know, they change our habits. And I think ChatGPT has now taken AI into, you know, the direct, you know, consumer world, right? Where, where simply, you know, you can literally, it's taken away any kind of programming aspects. You can type something into ChatGPT. And then it will perform specific functions that you ask it to do. And it does it very well. So, you know, I think this is something that, that we will see in every aspect of our lives moving forward. And, and you know, where that goes, it's, it's, you know, very interesting and fascinating. And it's very scary at the same time of, mm-hmm. of you know, how we're going to navigate this. But um, it's a tool we're all going to get very used to. And, and it's, it's just the start of where, where things are going. So, you know, when, when I saw ChatGBT launch in December, November, December, and, and I saw what I was doing, I was like, okay, this is a moment. This is going to be mm. one of those moments where it's going to change our everyday life in, in, mm. a, in, a, number of, yeah. in a number of aspects, you know, from, from everything that we do. And so we jumped on that uh, immediately and started really kind of with skepticism going in and, and testing it and seeing how, you know, is this something that we should, we should use, um, you know, specifically on Amazon. But clearly this is something that, that uh, you know, we will use in everyday lives for a number of different functions. It's literally... Mm a virtual assistant that can do, you know, you know, complex tasks with a lot of information extremely fast. Yeah. Yeah. There's obviously a lot of positives with it, but do you see any negatives? Um, Yeah. I I mean, I I do see negatives. I I think that the big thing that that people are fearful of is like, is it a job replacer? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, And I think, I think humans generally, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get fearful of things like this and say, oh, you know, it's it's replacing, you know, I don't know, it's replacing a, a legal analyst who needs to analyze a bunch of documents or something, you know, but, but um, you know, and, and surely it's going to be used in, in a number of ways that, that are not positive. I think I think already there's there's a bunch of, um, uh, you know, software that's being invented to to detect AI, right, and, and how it's being used, and it can be used, you know, when you see someone speaking on, on a, you know, on, on, on a video, um, mm. it's, it absolutely can be AI trained to speak mm. in their voice to look like them, right? So, mm. you know, being able to detect, detect whether that's, um, you know, uh, real or not is going to be critical. And I think um, it can, it's going to be used in, in a lot of negative ways for sure. But it, out of that, there's going to be born an industry that, that will help to protect it. And I think at the end of the day, um, with all technology, and this this one, it, you know, it doesn't doesn't change that. Is is it pushes us as humans to focus on, um, you know, our our craft, our expertise, our our creativity, right? As a human, which is which is irreplaceable. You you can't yeah. replace that with with some kind of AI bot. At least at this point, you know, when when singularity or whatever happens down the road, maybe, maybe it will. But <laughs> you know, at, at this point in time, you know, the human brain is still. Um, you know, with, with the experience that we can build, there's, there's a creative aspect that just can't be replaced. So, you know, I see AI at the moment as an additive in, in this technology to, to moving quickly with some tasks, but it doesn't mm-hmm. replace, you know, how, you know, how you take that and how you use that as an expert in your true craft at, in a creative way. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that's what we should be focusing on as humans, right? Um, yeah, not just definitely. the day-to-day mundane, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, the whole world of AI tools is, is nothing crazy new. As you said, it's been like since the dawn of internet has been some form of it. Um, you know, and for the last sort of year or so, we've been playing around with some, you know, content creation type stuff, um, you know, with AI that definitely helps speed up the workflow. But there's no way that it can fully replace the, the the knowledge that you need especially as we get on to talk about you know amazon products there's uh, there's a lot of legwork that can be done by it and it's uh, you know obviously i don't want to answer the question that i asked you but at the end of the day i think a lot of it is going to be optimizing workflow and giving you room and space to then be able to focus on more of the stuff that matters and so um for amazon sellers obviously that's a big focus and a big um you know key for them because we build these businesses because they are stream mind because they can be incredibly lean and uh, this is another example of how someone can create even more of a lean business by like you said using this as a bit of an assistant so uh, how, how before we get on to like the specifics of what Zongura doing because re- you know really excited about that but but what kind of things do you see Amazon sellers using something like chat GPT for is it just for writing copy or is there uh, you know are there options possibilities beyond that do you think 
Yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless, right? Because, I mean, you can tell it to to take a specific piece of content and put it into a table and format mm. it for, you know, an Excel spreadsheet or, or whatever mm. you're wanting to tell it to do. So, yeah. um, you know, just, and we've done this traditionally as Amazon sellers, all our, you know, think of, of what's the first thing that you do as an Amazon seller when you start to sell a bunch of products? You hire your first VA, right? Mm. Your first virtual assistant. And you're like, okay, my virtual assistant is going to, uh, you know, manage my customer reviews or, or, or my responses to that or, or doing some product research or, or handling, um, you know, finding the best suppliers or, or whatever you, whatever is that admin tasks that you, mm. that you want your virtual assistant to do, you hire that and you build that into your business, right? And the point of doing that to exactly what you said earlier is, you know, you don't want to be stuck in your business. You want to be, you know, running your business and, and, and this idea of it's a, it's a vital, um, skill set that us as entrepreneurs have to learn which is which is you don't want to be the the the, the person in the orchestra you want to be the conductor right so yeah, you want to be able yeah. to have the ability to manage a team or or delegate or or or, or showcase people of, of what to do as much as possible so that you're not stuck in the details of it and you can have the vision of where you need to take your business and, and have the space to have the vision and that's critical for amazon sellers i mean it's critical for for us as leaders in our business to to not get stuck in, in all of those tasks, right? And to have the space to to grow that business and, and navigate where you're going. So, um, you know, ChatGPT is certainly um, something that, that can do a lot of those tasks, right? And and mm. I'm not going to say I know, I know I've dived in enough to ChatGPT to know exactly how it can be used in every single way. There's people on our team that, that do it, but, mm. um, uh, and, and are using it in their daily life. But certainly from, from an Amazon seller perspective, you know, some of those VA tasks, you can get ChatGPT to do it, whether you sign up and, and use it directly with them or whether, um, you know, you use it inside of a software like what we're doing. But it's, it's going to automate a lot of those processes and give you, um, you, know, you know, maybe automate all of it, but, but certainly give you an amazing baseline that, that when you truly put your focus on that specific piece of the business, you can put your best into it in the shortest amount of time, which is critical. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You mentioned about, um, you know, November, December time, kind of as it began to really take off, you started to then look at how you can integrate this into uh, Zonguru, what you're doing with, with the tools there. How has that process developed? Can you talk us through like the timeline of what you've been developing and then into what, what's up and available now and, and then give us a bit of a demo of it? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, uh, when, when it came out, I think, um, you know, I, I obviously you know, noticed that. And I was like, okay, this is going to be something we, we need to spend some time on this. And, uh, you know, I, I called a team brainstorm with our engineers and head of product. And, um, I, I think the initial reaction was, was a lot of pushback, um, because we're clearly, we've got like a, a you know, we've got a, a serious roadmap that we're all mm. focused on with, with, a, with a, you know, as lean a team as we can to, to build all of the tools we're doing. So just another hairy brain idea from John thrown in the mix to, to mess things up wasn't, wasn't appreciated. Right. But, um, you know, I, I, I was persistent to this, uh, let's say, and we, we had a brainstorm and I was like, look, let's just have a look at this. Let's see, let's just, just, you know, let's just spend an hour, you know, come on. And, 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 uh, we spent an hour and it's, and, and, uh, there was a lot of skepticism, but I think once we, we, we tested a few, um, you know, of the, of, of, of the outputs from from AI, just with generally just using the, the website, um, the guys were, were were starting to say, "Hey, there's something here, right?" and and were impressed with with what what was coming back from the, the intelligence of, of ChatGPT. Um, and I think you know the the beauty of that is that when you one of our highest values is is well, our highest value is curiosity, right? I think anybody that we hire on our team. We want to we want to make sure that they have an innate curiosity to mm. to kind of go after things, right? And I think the team just got curious about it and ran ran off with it, like like you know, um, spending your you know putting your life into notion, like just being curious about things. So you know the guys the guys you know did that. They they, they got really curious with with ChatGPT and and thought about how we can use it. And you know clearly one of the the, the easiest or, or first not easiest I would say the first pace. That, that we that we thought of an application for this was around content creation mm. for um you know for uh you know for uh for, for your listing on amazon right i think i think i did my my end of year december uh um uh, email to to our customers uh I, I wrote it obviously from me but then i i actually took that and threw that into chat gpt 
and included that as a as a version on on the email, right? So hey, this is if if ChatGPT wrote this, this is what they write, and it was much more <laughs> succinct, succinct and professional. Mm -hmm. But it took all the emotion out of it, right? So that was just a sidebar. But I think then obviously you know it's just, that was the first place that people started to play with ChatGPT is how do we, yeah. how do we, what does it do with content and how mm -hmm. how can it do that? So um, that's where we started um, and and went in with you know a skepticism to say can can this truly make a difference? But if it can, then this is something we need to jump onto, and 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 that's where we started. Yeah, I've noticed that it is um, one of the biggest things it saves time on. You mentioned about being succinct and um, you can set condensed and everything. Um, one of the hardest things about writing content is. Um, you know, just choosing the right words that's going to not be waffly, but communicate the message you're trying to communicate. And it's not knowing what to say because you know what you're trying to communicate. It's actually forming that into cohesive sentences. That's where the hard work is. And that's where I've found AI is uh, the most significant help, you know, um, is because it cuts down the, the workload on that, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, one hundred percent, and and that's that's the important thing to get across here for for everyone is like, you know, it, it's moving you from from content writing from scratch into into content editing. It's giving you that starting point, right? That baseline, um, and and all that stuff like writer's block. How do we start? I know what I want to say, but how do I say it? Um, mm. You know, it's much easier to say, "Hey, give me a baseline," you know, and 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 let me work from there and see see if I can get that to work, and then mm. finesse it further. Than just yeah. starting from scratch, and more importantly, especially for Amazon content, it's it's not only like, hey, I know what I want to say, and I want to say it concisely or in a certain tone, or you know, for my for my brand or, or whatever it is. But you need to write those those words in a way that it's optimized for the algorithms, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. that that it's concisely written, but it's exact phrase broad match in the yeah. right way for the main specific terms for what you're trying to to optimize for, and that's. The most critical piece right and, and if mm. you can get the ai to do that i mean now you've got like a concise you know well-written piece that is well optimized for the amazon algorithm as your baseline in under in under a minute it's, it's, it's crazy like what what, yeah. what a difference that it makes to, to the business so you know um yeah look you know i, I think we've got some learnings with 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 chat gbt and how to get it to perform that i can share um and, and then we can talk about how we've integrated mm. it yeah, yeah, no, let, let's do it because you made a big claim there to be able to write a draft of a listing in under a minute. And uh, I've, uh, you, you made a little zoo, uh, zoom, loom for me, um, kind of showing me through it. And I was like, that's pretty insane. So I do want everybody to see and hear this. Um, so, um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's make it happen. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big claim, but it's true. It's exactly what it does. So, <laughs> so we'll, we'll do it live in a second. And, and yeah. you know, every time's different. So, uh, I've, I've, I think I've had it once or twice where I've made a claim and then the AIs come back. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but uh, uh, yeah, look, you, you know, the, the beauty of, of why it works well within our tool is AI and the, and the quality of the outputs of what it's doing is based on the quality of the input, right? And so um, we're, we're, we're prompting the, the AI, the chat GPT, with, with quality um, data that is difficult to to get together right so so the kind of things we're doing is if you want to write a, a product listing for your your asin on amazon um you know you need to feed you know you have to write that piece of content with the right keywords so finding the right keywords that are most relevant for your product that are that are that are that are you know cut out all the non-relevant terms but but are finding things that not only um, work for the amazon algorithm but the customers are actually typing to amazon those kind of things so from our keyword tool keywords on fire we can generate the right keywords so we prompt the ai with the, the keywords we also prompt it with um uh i'll say 50 50 on this because we prompted with with product awareness so mm -hmm. giving uh the ai awareness um but we have actually a, a, we we finessing that because that's one of okay. the biggest pieces that, that we're trying to get really right with with the with the ai um you know being able to tell it that it's like it's a a a metal uh, travel tumbler versus a wooden travel tumbler. You know sure. that that makes a difference in how how it creates the content. Um, so product awareness is important. The, the 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 content from the best converting listings on Amazon is is critical. Like what are mm. the best listings on Amazon, and yeah. can we can we tell the AI, hey, this is your realm, mm. um, and what does that look like within that niche? That's critical. We're feeding that. 
um, the order of, of, of the, the content is important. Um, sentiment, customer sentiment mm. that we can get from, from uh, product reviews, uh, mm. we're starting to in- introduce that, right? Uh, understanding what people really uh, love or hate, which we have a tool called Love Hate, so it pulls out the, mm-hmm. the, the customer sentiment, what do they really care about, right? Yeah. So can we, can we give it that sentiment around the, the actual um, you know, um, bullets that it's writing around the benefits of the product? That's critical. And then the order of how we prompt it um, and, and, and not overloading it too much as well. Because if you give it too much information, it's, you know, it's the same thing as anything. If you give it too much information, it, it can go a little haywire, right? So yeah. getting that balance right. So that's all the kind of work that we've done on our side. And then finally, obviously, structuring in a way that it writes it, you know, in the right way, you know, the right structure for an Amazon listing, you know, you know, and, and putting your main keywords in your title, followed by your bullets, your back search terms, et cetera, so that the content is, you know, if, if it's going to convert from a sale, it's, it's working best for the Amazon algorithm. So that's all the intelligence that we have. Mm. Uh, and we feed that into the AI. And then it's like, yeah, no problem. Here you go. And it, and yeah. it gives a unique piece of content back um, that, that at right now what we're seeing is, and I'll show you this in our tool, but we, mm. we, we built our tool in a way, in a way to give you context for listings. So, when I say context, we allow you to optimize and, and get a score for, for the content you're creating versus the keywords that you want to optimize for in context of the other listings on page one that are optimized yeah. for that keyword. Yeah. And yeah. We, we allow you to pull in different listings and score those as well. So, you know, right now what we're seeing is about a 30% improvement of the the, the, the optimized optimization score of mm. the chat GBT output versus the best listings on page one. Wow. So from the, from the out get, from the, from the get go, you're getting a well optimized piece of content yeah. in under a minute that is better optimized for keywords than the main listings on page one. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, so starting is, if that's mm. your baseline in under a minute, mm. I mean, you know, you can only go up from there. So yeah. it's, it's, it is a game changer and, and it's, um, you know, it's that itch that we all want to scratch and we've been able to do it in our tool for a while. But it's like when I create a listing as a seller and I put it up on Amazon, is that maximizing my potential yeah. for for getting awareness for my product on an Amazon algorithm? And if so, how do I know that? And and be, being able to score that based on the algorithm that we have and the intelligence, but also being able to compare that to other listings that scratches that itch, you can go, okay, I'm better than, you know, if this guy's selling number one on Amazon for this term and my listing is better optimized than his, like I've done a pretty good job, right? I can, I can focus on my PPC or my sponsored ads or, you know, outbound traffic or whatever else I want to do. Yeah, nice, nice. Let's uh, take a look because I think there'll be a yeah, lot of people sure. listening. Um, a lot of people listening that are really keen to see this in action. And like you said, I think that the um, obviously forming sentences and copywriting, etc., is a challenge. But also, how do I fit all these keywords in and make it sound natural? And there's so many things that if you're trying to do this manually, uh, can be a challenge. So this is going to, um, you know, I'm sure be a, a big help for a lot of people. Sure thing. Uh, can you see my screen? Yep. Great. Um, this is just uh, Zongu just just logging in and showing you. Um, this is actually a live demo that you can interact with on our main website. Um, okay. But this is uh, I'm on my little small Mac screen right now. But this is our, our dashboard, um, and these are all the tools that you can access, right? And you can see there's a little highlight over here for ChatGPT, which is the new tool. Um, mm-hmm. Just one quick plug. Actually, today we're launching uh, this little section down here called the daily traffic, which is a uh, it's pretty special for sellers, which is giving you the the overall sessions and conversion percentage across your products or for specific products. And it also breaks it down by mobile and desktop. Um, and, and uh, you know, this is, this is the mecca of, of what we do as sellers, which is trying to understand how much traffic are we getting to our listing pages and of that traffic, what does it convert like? And you can get this inside of Seller Central, but it's kind of hard to see trends and, and um, you know, it's been notoriously difficult to get hold of. So this is live. So just Very a quick cool. plug on that, but I'm going to jump over and, and show you uh, inside of uh, our, our listing optimization tools. This is listing optimizer. Uh, and the example I'm going to show you is golf cooler. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, golf cooler, it's a, it's a pretty interesting, uh, uh, product that you can sell, um, as a private label seller. Um, and what I've done, uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into the background of this, but this, this tool, the way it's, it's showcased from a visual perspective is on the left hand side, you load uh, the most important keywords that you want to optimize uh, for, for, for your Amazon listing. And mm-hmm. you can load it from our keyword tool, which does an extremely good job 
of finding those keywords, but you can also add your keywords manually or from any other list that you want. Um, and so you would add those keywords and on the right hand side, you can add up to eight different listings. Um, and, and, and what that means is you can add competitor listings. So you can just go, you know, you type in golf cooler into Amazon and you can copy the ASIN and you can load it simply here. Um, typically what I would do is load the best listing on page one, maybe the, the, the middle of page one and maybe sure. the best brand analytics converting one, whatever you want, mm -hmm. you can load them here. That's good. That doesn't uh, influence the AI, but it's just a comparison for you to look at how well okay. they optimize for the keywords. And then you can actually, you know, create one of your listings from scratch. Um, and you can do that from scratch or you can import from a listing you have already or you can do it from AI. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. The, the listing I've added here is this one is Frostbox Golf Bag. It's actually the number one organic listing uh, here. And you can see okay. uh, we put in the title, we put in all of the bullets, uh, we put in the description and we actually put in the back end search terms which is pretty unique um, as a tool. We can, we can show the back and search terms for any listing. So uh, I've got that one and I pulled Atletico, which is the middle of page one. So if I go ahead and, and import keywords, I'm gonna do it from our tool. And I've got a save session here on, uh, on a golf cooler and I'll just add all the keywords. Let's just do that. Um, and I load the keywords. What, what I'm doing right now is adding the most relevant keywords for golf cooler and all the different types of search terms that, that's, uh, customers will search for it um it gives you know the keywords search volume etc and where it's added in the listing exact match broad match or somewhere in the listing and then you get an optimization score so you can see right now frostbox golf bag cooler has a score of almost thirty thousand, which is based on how well it's optimized for these keywords and it's in the top 10 percent of all uh, listings for the term golf cooler so it's a well optimized listing yeah. the other one here is uh average right it's fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. it's average and you can see all the keywords that are in the listing and also the ones that are missing the, the highlighted green keywords are actually deduped missing from the listing here you can see you know sleeves etc right i added all the keywords so um you know you can see right right from the the get-go hey you know the, the goal to match is around thirty thousand. if you can beat mm -hmm. that you're a pretty well optimized listing and i can go here on the right hand side and i can click hey give me you know again i can do it from scratch one of my products or I can actually uh, you know, start from a competitor listing of one or AI generated. So I'm clicking on AI generated and I'll just say add to listing. Um, and so real time right now, what it's doing, um, and it, it, sometimes when we share it uh, over the screen, it takes a little bit longer, but real time we're, we're feeding the AI again with all of the keywords that we have loaded on the left-hand side, which, which our tool takes those keywords and then looks at the whole niche for, for golf cooler, uh, you know, golf cooler bag, yeah, yeah. and then and then it feeds those. It also looks at the top converting uh, listings for that term. It also looks at product awareness and and uh, and a few other things that we're feeding it with uh, to generate the listing. And then you know within within thirty seconds under a minute, it's going to generate um, a listing, and we'll see how it scores. Again, um, every time we generate a listing, it's going to be different because you, mm -hmm. you're creating unique content um, that is that is um, uh, you know optimized for those terms. So. Um, typically, it's about a 30% improvement over uh, some of the best listings on page one, yeah. um, and sometimes sometimes not. So we'll, we'll see what comes up. I suppose that may be the concern for some sellers is, hey, if we're using this and, and we're taking other listings as our source, it, am I going to get dinged for you know copying their content? Are there going to be any issues there? But you're saying this is sort of completely unique content. Yes, yeah, so far, you know, and, and that, that's a good question. Um, for, you know, this always happens. I don't know why it's taking uh, so long to, to generate. Yeah, you're right on the um, screen sharing. It just some, it seems to slow down computers massively. It's frustrating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unless I logged out or I did something uh, interesting. So we'll, we'll see what what happens if, yeah. if uh, we actually get there. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, the question on that is, is interesting. Like, is there plagiarism, right? Um, you know, is, is, the, is the AI actually writing unique content? Um, you know, what, what, uh, you know, is there a way to check? Is it being used by, by, yeah. you know, is it copying from, from other listings? And, um, you know, so far from what we are seeing in our testing and we have a tool called IP monitoring, uh, mm -hmm. and we've tested it against that, you know, we don't find that it's, that it's actually, um, you know, copied, uh, you know, plagiarism or anything yeah, like yeah. that. But, but I think the point is at the end of the day, you know, you, you're doing an injustice to yourself if you just literally, um, you know, AI generate a listing and post it, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to do that. You're going to take it as a baseline and you're going to finesse it further because one of the bullets might not make sense. 
you know, you might want to tweak it, you want to move it up. So you're going to get unique content regardless um, at the end yeah. of the day. So we've got a listing generated and you can see the score right off the bat there is 32,000. So um, it's a higher optimized score than mm -hmm. the best listing on page one. Uh, mm -hmm. It's in the top 7%. And you can see he has, he has the listing, right? So uh, golf cooler bag, beer sleeve for golf bag, insulated soft golf cart cooler. You know, it's written in a way that we understand as, as Amazon sellers. Yeah, we, we're finessing this further, but for, for all intents and purposes, it's a well optimized head, uh, headline that is not overstuffed, but also has really good exact phrase uh, yeah. matching in the title. Uh, the bullets we start with a, a benefit stay hydrated, dash explains it this intake golf cooler, you know, etc. Convenience, protection, design. Uh, it has a bullet, uh, you know, has a description written, and we, we don't populate the back end search terms, we leave that up to you. Uh, and there's a way I can show you just to add that in a second. But if you don't like any of these, you can also just simply hit the AI generate within that specific thing. So if the title nice. doesn't make sense for you, you can regenerate that title. Yep. Um, and then if oh, you want to add the back end search terms, I can just go here and, and add all the back end search terms. Let's add them. Um, these are all the deduped keywords we haven't used yet in the listing. And I've yep. got a score of 40,000 in the top 3%. So you can imagine as a baseline in under a minute, or that mm. took a little bit longer sharing here, but, but um, you've got a listing here that you can now go in and you can physically edit it within the tool, make sure that it brings in your creativity, your expertise, um, your brand tone if you want. Um, and then you can go ahead when you're happy with it and you can uh, publish it directly to Amazon. So we, we, if you're connected within our tool, mm. it's a flat file upload and it, it, it literally publishes directly to Amazon and, and then you can move on to your next listing. So, you know, at the end of the day, how this helps you is you, you, you've got well you know, important quality keywords that you added that you know should, you, you should be optimizing for. You've got a well-written listing in under a minute that you can then edit further. You know that your listing scores as good or better than your main competitors. Mm -hmm. um, and you can upload that to Amazon. And then you can feel confident that you have a good, you know, a good baseline. And you can move on to, to everything else that you need to do, right? So yeah. um, it's pretty significant, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And the direct upload to Amazon as well. It's like, could you make it any easier? Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> so if everyone uh, can use Zonguru, and obviously we'll leave a link to Zonguru in uh, you know, in the description below, a anyone can go and access that today, right? So that sets the baseline of what is possible. Um, you know, it, it lowers, I suppose, the barrier to entry to a highly optimized Amazon listing. So what can sellers then do to make sure they continue to stand out? Because previously, a well-optimized listing with keywords, the right keywords in the right places, that was going to make you stand out to an under-optimized listing. As more and more people do this, and I recognize not everyone, as much as you would like them to, not every single Amazon seller is going to get a Zonguru subscription. Um, so it's not going to be everyone. But as it gets easier to create higher quality listings, how can uh, Amazon sellers continue to create you know, better listings? How do you see that all going? Yeah. But by the way, uh, we are in beta right now, and and in order to access uh, the the um, the ChatGPT integration, you need to either be an existing customer or you need to sign up through our preferred partners link. So, uh, Ben, obviously you've got that. So you know people need to sign up through that link, not just through the the, the general uh, zonguru.com uh, link sure. to get access to the beta. Yeah. Um, and it's free as part of your subscription, so we're not charging. We're we're absorbing that that fee from ChatGPT. Um, yeah, to, to get to, to get, yeah, again, I think going back to the initial part of our discussion, what technology is doing is it's pushing us as individuals to focus on mm. our craft and focus on our creativity, right? And and this is just going to push us to be better at that, right? When, you, when you're writing a listing, you're writing it not just for the algorithm, you're not writing it just to beat your competitors, but you're writing it to, to connect with your customer. And that's the part that you truly have to focus on. Now, you have a well-written listing that's, you know, is optimized for the right keywords, but what you say in those bullets, how you say it, um, what benefits are you pulling out? Um, you know, how does that connect with the imagery that you do with the overlays, you know, with all of those pieces? Mm -hmm. That's, you know, there's still a, a lot to be done there. Um, and, and, and not missing out anything on, on the buyer's journey, right? And, and, and what are the significant things to a seller? So there's a lot of that stuff that, that you still have to do. Um, and, uh, and, and, and a lot of ways to, to, to kind of still connect with the customer. One thing that I always recommend um, sellers to do is to actually 
go through a buyer journey exercise with yeah. a, with your target audience and, and the way that you know i've simply told people to do that is, is literally a loom video get someone to go in and buy a product in your category and record their buyer experience and the questions they ask themselves in buying that and you will 100 yeah. percent find holes in in you know when they're trying to find something to 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 buy and they're going through listings and they're looking for specifics that would make their buy decision better every listing is going to be missing stuff and if you can capture those and ai said you're not going to capture those you know you you will stand out and, and get better conversions. so yeah. um it's just pushing us to be stronger on on the, the things that really matter uh, yeah. taking care of the the basic things that we need to take care of yeah yeah, it's exciting times for uh, entrepreneurs, for Amazon sellers, exciting times for Zonguru. Uh, what, where do you, um, without obviously uh, giving away all your all your secrets, where do you see this going? What have you got planned? How is this going to develop for Zonguru? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we, we're obviously the first. We, we, we're we're mm. definitely the first in the space that's, that's launched this. Um, we're not going to be, uh, you know, uh, the only um, but you know, it's, it's about iterating on that. And, and we actually, I think next week we come out with our version two of the beta. Um, and you know, the things that we're already including in that are going to be language, um, which is a, which is a pretty powerful, um, piece, right. Is, is being able to, you know, do this listing optimization in French versus mm -hmm. English. Um, and so far from our testing and, and we actually have, um, you know, specific, um, uh, you know, multi-language agencies that are giving us feedback on, on the copy to see how, mm. how does it actually look. And there's a lot of uh, content in the space around language, but ChatGPT does an excellent job on language, right? So yeah. there's another um, super cool uh, feature that's going to be coming out. Um, tonality, uh, mm. you know, do you want something written uh, in a salesy way for the American market or do you want something written in a pretty straightforward non salesy way for the German market or mm. is your brand fun or professional or whatever. So being able to give the, the AI cues around how you want that written. Do you you know, um, you know, people do it today, they they say, Hey, write me, you know, you know, do this and tell me tell it to me in a jokey way or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you will yeah. do it, right? Um explain it to me like I'm a five year old. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah. So, you know, so um those are things that are coming out. Uh, uh mostly is product awareness and 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 getting it to truly focus we, we're giving it customized fields so you can mm -hmm. you can give it a lot more weighting around what you want it to to focus on um and then we have a whole bunch of iterations coming around around our listing optimization tool in general and, and keywords etc so it's pretty exciting times i think um you know look for us as a business um you know we're competing in a in a, in a extremely competitive space mm -hmm. and and the challenge for us is also we you know we, we have a, a lot of tools so you know, picking a unique um, value proposition to bring across is somewhat difficult because you've got mm -hmm. tools that are helping in different areas. Um, you know, what ChatGPT is doing for us right now is it's helping us to get in the door with some conversations and mm -hmm. then we can showcase all of the tools that we have. And, and, mm -hmm. and you know, when, when we get in front of the uh, our audience and we show it, um, pe people are, are blown away by, by our tool set. So, um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good time and, and it's a... It's a very busy time right now, but we're, we're just yeah. riding the bandwagon and, and keep mm. going with this, right? Um, and again, you know, we, we, have, we have a seller DNA and, and everything we do is there to help sellers. And um, this is absolutely, you know, um, a help, it's something that can help you as a seller and, and overall it will help us all, right? So mm. um, it's certainly something to get in and use. And even if you just sign up for a trial and you and you test, you can load your listing that you currently have and run mm -hmm. ChatGPT against it and see, hey, how does it do in comparison to your current listing? Like that's a test worth doing, right? And seeing how, how you know what's the best way to optimize my keywords. Um, yeah, definitely. definitely. So you know, worth trying. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I love the way you know you and, and the team and Zonguru uh, innovate. Uh, I think there's a real streak of entrepreneurialism. Um, it's not just a, a software tool to be a software tool. It's there, there's innovation, entrepreneurialism, and I love that about you guys. So I'm not surprised to see you guys release this first and, and innovate in this way. And uh, yeah, excited to see that all that you do. Uh, appreciate you taking time out, John. I know you must be busy with everything going on, um, and uh, and it's Valentine's day today as you said so i'm sure you got lost on today so I'll, I'll let you get back to it but um well, obviously we'll leave a link uh, to zonguru in the description like we said through that link people can sign up for the beta can get involved in gpt um the the kind of the yeah the ai side of, of zonguru which is super exciting anything uh, else you want to add for our listeners before we finish the show 
No, just uh, you know, uh, give it give it a test. If you have any questions, you know, you hit us up uh, on on our website, or um, you know, we, we have a passionate team there that wants to help you, and and mm. uh, they'll give you everything you need. So if you're feeling like uh, you need a little help, just jump into um, our support, and and the team can help you there. Yeah, they are a great team. Dealt with a, a whole bunch of your guys, and they are all amazing. So definitely can vouch for that. Amazing guys, thank you so much for listening to the show today. Exciting times with AI selling on Amazon. A new future awaits us. Grab a hold of it, make some money, make some impact. It's going to be super exciting. Thanks for listening to the show today. Check out Zong Guru description down below. Uh, in the description down below, give it a spin. See how you go. Optimize those listings, and we'll see you in the next episode real soon.